Ah, it's bad enough that we're all going through this security theater nonsense, but could they at least be more efficient? What do you mean security theater? These TSA agents are heroes, doing important work, keeping us all safe. Ha! Huh. Do you really still believe that, Sarah? Of course I do. Why wouldn't I? Well, for one thing, because the TSA's actual track record of stopping criminals and terrorists is embarrassingly terrible. TSA agents routinely fail around 80% of undercover tests to see if they're actually preventing contraband from getting into our airports. In 2015, a report came out showing that they let at least 73 people on terrorist watch lists through the lines throughout the year. There have also been numerous instances of agents getting caught stealing from people's luggage and inappropriately touching passengers. You don't say! Shh, mi amor. And on top of that, their rules are completely insane. Ain't that right? If this here soap's over three ounces, they treat it like a deadly threat. But then what do they tell me to do with it? Dump it in this bin with all the random stuff they claim is dangerous. Okay, well, yeah, that doesn't make sense. A few years ago, a buddy of mine had his belt buckle stolen by the TSA because it was in the shape of a science fiction ray gun. Ten billion dollar budget well spent, huh? And they ain't just a waste of money, they're a waste of time. Oh, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. It's actually a bigger deal than you'd think. The average time to get through a TSA line at Miami's airport is just under 20 minutes. Multiply that by the number of travelers that went through the line in 2020, which is almost 23.9 million people. And you get 470 million minutes just standing in these stupid lines? Yep, that's a massive amount of time and stress, and almost anything else that people would do if they got that time back would be more beneficial to society. We'd all be better off if we just shut it down. Ugh, why can't you guys ever just let me believe the government isn't always the worst? The question is, why can't they let us believe that? Amen. Hey, folks, thank you so much for watching. Why don't you subscribe and hit that notification bell? Yeah, that's right. That's what I thought.